the honor of having a very distinguished guest today who's going to speak to all of the veterans. We have in, right to my right, is Congresswoman Loretta Sanchez. Disengage and everything 
talking to my husband, but I mean, I Bob, where's my Bob? Bob, Bob is my veterans representative. Now, Bob actually brought the veteran forms to my husband. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay, my husband is a constituent, you know, so our officer is in, but, and, and my husband's a lawyer. He, he's a lawyer, he should know better, but right, Bob? It took you printing them out and everything and handing them to him. And here you go, Jack. Please fill them out. Get them back to me or I'll come pick them up and let's get you in the system. So please know that Bob and others in my office are here to make sure that you're connected to the system. Now, benefits. There are a lot of benefits. Um, you know, one of the first things that happens when people leave the service is that they, um, they want to get out, right? You're already there. You know you're getting out. So you're not going to admit that you've got frailties, that maybe something's going on, or you may not even know because maybe things don't happen until afterwards. So again, get back into the system. We want to make sure the sooner we catch things, the sooner we can help. The other thing I will tell you is that, especially for new people coming out of our services, there is a fear. An incredible fear sometimes of the civilian world. You guys know what I'm talking about? Right? Like, how do my skills transfer over to like what I'm doing or what have you, right? Oh, sorry. Oh, oh am I looking blue or something? No. <laughs> sorry, that was the best night for me. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, and I see this because my husband gets phone calls. You know, here's a he's got a friend, one star retired General Jack, lawyer. I mean, come on, hello, right? He's not like an E3 or anything. And he's, you know, he's got rough skills. He calls my husband and says, oh my God, he goes, you know, uh, and he called him in December. I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave the service in June. What's it like out there? What do I do? How'd you find your job? So even those people that we think are ready and prepared for it aren't. Again, a reason to connect to what's going on. So if it's help into the veterans system, if it's job, if it's school, if it's training, if it's how do I, how do I translate what I did in the military to what's on the outside world? Organizations, there are plenty of veterans organizations. We have a great guy, Jim Torres, right? Let me tell you the story of Jim Torres. Do any of you here know Jim Torres? Yeah. <laughs> Jim Torres. Vietnam vet. Was it Vietnam, maybe Korean, Vietnam and Korean? Vietnam. Vietnam. Vietnam, yeah. Vietnam vet. Jim Torres looks. Now imagine, close your eyes and think about this. What this would look like. Big guy, beard, on a Harley with tattoos. Right? That's my Jim. Okay? So he was a Vietnam vet, somehow along the line, he got disconnected to everything. He had drug problems, alcohol problems, homeless problems, everything you can imagine. Jim was about as low as it gets. When someone said, go over and see the congresswoman. Now, I wasn't the one that personally attended to him, I'm usually flying back and forth trying to get some things done. I got a great staff. We turned, he turned, Jim turned himself around. We helped him to do that. Today, he's got a job, he's got a home, and he spends about 50% of his time, personal time, helping veterans get connected to veterans organizations, helping veterans fill out the paperwork. Because you know, one of the biggest reasons why veterans, when they start to fill out the paperwork, is that they fill it out incorrectly. You know, it's, it's, it's a very scientific thing to do. <laughs> he actually sits down with veterans, fills it out with them, because he knows all the places that have to be filled and where you can go wrong, and helps people, again, get connected to the benefits that they need. Last, because we're here at ITT, because we thank them for having this veterans um, workshop. Thank you very much. 
Let me tell you that all of our schools in our area have set up veterans outreach. ITT is great. We support them. Um, everybody's going to decide if they want to take a if they want to take advantage in particular of the GI benefit, uh, the, the, the education benefit that we have. Everyone's going to decide, and, and even ITT, I'm sure sometimes you guys have talked to veterans and said, you know, it's not really this institution you need to be at. You might want to go to Cal State Fullerton, or you might start at Santa Ana College, or what have you. So the schools all work together really is the reality. We want to place you and give you the best opportunity towards your future at any of these places. They all have veterans outreach programs. I know because we've helped to start a lot of them. So you have this great benefit that's the GI Bill. It, it's up to, I think, um, up to 36 months of you get tuition paid, uh, the equivalent of every year of what would be at a University of California. Irvine, of one of the UC schools, um, anything above that, like if you go to a private university, well, there's other ways to finance that or what have you. Um, there is a housing stipend that goes along with it. There is books and supplies. And you know, I'll give you an example. One of the things that concerns sometimes when our veterans have gotten out because they haven't, they'll have ended up homeless. They'll go and they'll sign up at a school just so that they can get the housing stipend. See what I'm saying? And that kind of takes care of and And they sort of flub up on the education piece. And so they run their benefit through because of housing rather than really taking advantage of education. And so another reason why we're trying to do the outreach to everybody to ensure that people understand how to use the benefits, what are the benefits out there, and, um, and to use it to, to the, best, the best use for you all. So we're here to support in every way. Um, and there are so many programs. And we've also got a gentleman, Jim Mazo, who was the head of a big company, a big bio, biomed tech kind of company here in Orange County, where there are so many of these types of companies. And he has gotten all the CEOs of those companies to start a program where uh, they're looking for vets to, to hire. So from a private sector side, we also have the context to help you to find jobs. But today, I think you're here because you really want to put your training, match it with the education that ITT has for you so that you can graduate and you can go and you can get the type of job that is meaningful, meaningful. As you know, my husband says one thing. He always knew what the mission was, right? He always knew what the mission was. When you get on the outside, no one tells you what the mission is, right? The camaraderie the mission, the everybody going to, to one place, to one spot, to one, one thing, is gone. So you, you have to develop the mission inside you. What is it that I want to do? What is it, what are my goals? And so we are all here to help you to do that. And I know when I say that this is an institution that will work through with you to figure out Meaningful job, meaningful life. Have something, have an education, and have a job that can carry you through to round out the rest of your life. You know, nice wife or husband, nice you know, place to live, and hopefully here in Orange County. I'm an Orange County girl, I want to see you all stay here. Okay? So if you need any help, you've got it here, but you've also got it from our office, okay? Deal? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Congresswoman. Um, as you notice, she's a very strong proponent of the veterans, and uh, I'm sure you can contact her office anytime. But like I told you, we've uh, 
showed you today with Tony and all of the invitees, all of the speakers for the veterans, you have a lot of various resources here. Okay, So thank you for joining us today. We do have lunch in the back here. Hopefully all of you can join us for lunch. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was. We weren't.